Hey guys, Thunder E here and uh, it's the holidays. I'm taking a road trip to go visit family and I have the GMC Yukon Denali 2022. This bad boy is a beast, so let's see what kind of tech is inside the car. It's big. All right, so let's start off by taking a look at this car. It is a beauty all around. Now the color I have here is a, it's a darker maroon. I really like how it looks. Now this is the first time I've ever actually driven the Yukon Denali. And I've got to say though, styling wise, it's great. Very At the very front of the car, you've got this nice massive grille it says GMC. And you've got those LED headlights that are big. They are really great at night. Now you've got the GMC badging all around this car. You've got it at the front corners on either side uh, either the driver and the pa and the passenger side looks really nice nice simple detail there and it says Denali uh, but underneath the door now when we open up that hood we have a 6.2 liter v8 engine uh, which gives you a lot of power for towing tailoring trailering as well as also just the drive itself now moving around the car we've got uh, 22 inch rims <laughs> they are nice especially with this car we've also got a lift gate as well that opens up when you're about to get in but we go around to the back of the vehicle and uh here is where i found some really just cool tech in the car so uh where you can open up the top of the uh trunk to basically just quick access to drop things or pick things up or you can actually open up the whole thing whether you're using of course the button your remote whatever the case may be now this gives you a sizable uh trunk to put in stuff but from here you can lower the middle seats all the way down and you can also lower the third row with those buttons at the back of the car giving you quick access so you can have more room and this was great for my trip i was able to put in more stuff in the car I was, you know to go see family for the holidays so that actually was pretty cool other thing also you do have a full-size power uh, power plug there so you can plug in tools or tv if you're tailgating whatever the case may be maybe an electric grill you can use that right there uh, with that power plug Honestly, the driving experience in this vehicle is fantastic. It felt really comfortable. It felt lighter than the size of the vehicle itself. And it was great just going from New York all the way to Massachusetts. Now, when you're in the car, you're greeted with just some incredible interior. So once you get into this vehicle, you're gonna be treated to the Denali trim, which is what I had in here in this package, which is leather accents. And you can see that nice brown leather kind of matches with the maroon outside. You've got wood accent paneling around the door and also to the, the passenger side, which is great. Uh, you also have leather seats, uh, fully leather seats all throughout the car. Nice, has the Denali logo, heated seats. So you've got heating on both the top and the bottom part of the seats. And also they are cool seats as well. So depending on where you are. Now, now you also have 14 speakers around the car, which is great. So your navigation kind of comes from the very top of the car uh, where some of the speakers are. I like that. So it kind of separates the sound, but it's very great audio experience. Now, when you're sitting in the vehicle uh, in the driver's side, you've got a lot of things in front of you. It can be a little bit daunting, but it's actually not that difficult. Now, left of your steering wheel, you do have uh, your drive modes where you can switch between drive modes like your sports, your two wheel drives, uh, your four wheel drive and so on and so forth. Then you've got the power management for those power plugs in the car. They actually two, one was in, in the trunk and one is in the middle row. Uh, and then we move over to the center where your wheel is. Now the wheel has buttons behind for your, your music playback. Uh, you've got a few option buttons for the screen in front of you. And then you do have a 15 inch heads up display. That is great because that your navigation also shows up as a display. You don't have to look left or right. You can look straight ahead of you and you have access to the road and what you're seeing there. So uh, that is really awesome. Now we move to the right of the steering wheel. And by the way, that's a leather steering wheel with heated steering wheel. It's a heated steering wheel as well. Uh, we have the, um, the drive uh, shifters. Uh, so you can choose between park and drive and all that. It's interesting. This is right 
right on the panel there next to the massive touchscreen, but it works out pretty well. Now, the touchscreen itself is a 12.8 inch touchscreen. This is where a lot of things are housed, and this is one of the fun parts of the car. Now, you've got Google Assistant built into it, but not just Google Assistant, you have basically, uh, you can sign into your Android account, and you've got full Google navigation with this. I like it because it allows you to do a lot of things. So number one, uh, you can just go through the information system of the car. You can see uh, all the different things you want to do from your settings to uh, charging options and things like that for uh, for your smartphone. Uh, but also you can use the voice assistant like you use it in, in any other place. So I can navigate home if I want to. I can look for restaurants. I don't have to leave the wheel. But one of the best things is also that I can control my um my smart appliances at home uh by you know telling google to you know turn off like the master bedroom lights and it actually would do that off through the car and control the stuff at home so i like that simple synergy it's something you can do off your phone but while you're driving you don't want to pick it up on anything and this is a great way to do that and i really enjoyed the experience because while we drove we stopped by a couple of places so it's easy for us to do that navigation now within that display as well you do have uh, access to a few other things like the nine cameras around the car giving you 360 view and honestly it was great for parking because it's been a while since i've dri driven a vehicle this large so it was nice to see all angles and trust me it's awesome you can go ahead and download apps from the app store mostly audio based apps uh, and you do have access to the two uh displays at the back there two uh displays uh for the middle row seats which you can access there now there are no video apps you can use with it so that's something just to take note uh and then also you have wi-fi built into this and this is really really important i like this because it allows you to do much more so for instance you know there's wi-fi you know i have two screens so i definitely went ahead head and I connected my Xbox Series S and I hung out with my cousin and we just kind of gamed in the back of the car, uh, which is fantastic. So you think about it for a long road trip. Uh, in this case, we just kind of parked the car and then we, you know, we played some Halo Infinite and we played some Forza Horizon 5. Uh, it's nice the fact that if you're traveling with kids, family members, a lot of people, you can have um, access to those two screens. You either mirror the screens, you can um, you know, have two individual uh, sources because you've got two HDMI ports there within that section second row uh, to actually uh, feed into that and you're able to play and watch content. So for me, it was a great experience to just chill with my cousin, you know, away from everybody else and we just kind of gamed in the car and, you know, that was a great experience. Now, some of the other things you find in the car and that center console, they also two more um, USB type C ports, which is great because you can charge your devices there. But the third row also has USB type C ports as well, allowing for charging in those third. Everybody in the car can charge their phones whenever they want to, which is great. Now for the driver and you know the main passenger, you do have wireless charging um, right there uh, with just one wireless charging charge spot, but there's also USB type C port and a USB type A port as well. Now the center console itself has this really cool place where you you can, I, I wish it was a wireless charger, but it really isn't, but you can place your phone there if you want to, and you can move that center console back to give you more space or more storage space. So there's access to it with uh, a button at the very top of the car, and you can actually go ahead and access more space. Now, speaking of the top of the car, we've got a nice massive, you know, moonroof that allows you to open it up all the way to the back, giving you just more light in the car, more scenery. It's a great look all together. Honestly, there's a lot I, I really love about this vehicle. Uh, you've got a lot of great features. The trim is nice. Uh, they've done a lot of things to make you feel comfortable. There's a lot of seating space, whether you're sitting in the middle row, uh, the second row, or you're even sitting in the third row. Like myself and my cousin, we were both about six feet two, and we had enough space and room to seat uh, in this car. Uh, when you're taking long trips, that Wi-Fi is pretty great. Being able to uh, you know connect, especially the other people in the car, if they want to do work, work, they can actually go ahead and do that within the vehicle because you've got a built-in hotspot and that is through at t and OnStar. So that is something that is great for just like the whole family as a whole. And for me, I, I think, you know, this is the kind of um, improvements I like to see with, you know, with vehicles, not just going into EVs, but just stuff that makes things more practical while you're driving, you're taking long trips while you're using the car. 
it's a great fun experience and honestly i really enjoyed it i never thought i would enjoy driving a yukon denali but i do miss this vehicle and i, and I like the improvements that they've done here i'd love to see it in more gm vehicles across the line and i'd like to see more of that integration they have with google because it made for the driving experience really simple and easy where once i was signed in i just had to walk into the car tell the car when to go and also just do different things whether i was looking for restaurants or uh using my smart home features and using things in the car quite easily so that is my look at the 2022 gmc yukon denali i think it's a great vehicle um, this package is roughly around eighty nine thousand uh, dollars but you can build your own package so definitely use the link down below if you want to check it out and honestly if you're a yukon fan denali fan this is something that will fit you quite well so if you guys have any questions in the comments let me know if you really enjoyed this video the fact that hey uh we are doing something a little bit different on the channel we still gamed in the car and it was a fun experience but if you want to check it out let me know so we can do more car videos for you this is thunder e saying thank you and Always enjoy your entertainment.